everyone's heard of Yu-Gi-Oh! It is a competitive trading card game that has nationals most of the time. And for the most part, it's a game that is very hard to actually get well in the competitive ladder while not spending a lot of money. Buying singles, trading with other players for cards they want that you have, and all those kinds of things. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to be doing a sealed deck based on a structured deck first and then moving on from there. There will be no trading, no buying singles, and everything I get has to come from PAX itself. You're watching the adventures of a very, very lucky Pokemon. Alright, so now that we're over here, I have switched out the Hamans only and the, Rav the Haman and the Ravioles for their alternate arts, and I did add the Infernal Progeny just because it is a um, decent special summon that we can use to maybe get into the other... What is it? The... This boy, Dark Sunning Beast, because we can special summon him and then tribute him into him if the case they ash one of our other things. So we're going to save that and let's go get into some matches. Alright, first match up against Dig Dug. Dig Dig Dug. Alright, about through rock and then I want to say paper. Yes! Alright, we're going first. Uh, Pretty weak hand. Activate! Alright, that fixed it. So. We dump you. You didn't. I don't think he has an ash. Fuck, he has an imperm. Don't hit it. Don't hit it. Just let it resolve. Let it resolve. Please. I literally got nothing else after that. Oh, I'll I'll pursue. Oh, oh, gamma. You. All right, activate. Well. Great. Well, I honestly don't think we're winning now. Unless somehow a trooper copper is gonna save me. One for one. Oh no, it's Mermail. It's Atlantean. I tell you one of his effect. Alright. What's this boy's effect? Okay, so it doesn't do anything immediately. Is he just going to go into a Link Karibo? That would be the nice thing, wouldn't it? Since... Oh, wait. Oh, it's so the first effect. Okay. When this car sends a graveyard... Oh, well... Haha! The Dark Dimension! You fool! Man, I, this is already a losing battle. I did never. You can't. That's the thing. You can't even stop that. Oh no. Deep Sea Diva. Then he's gonna summon Deep Sea Artisan. And then he's gonna unnecessarily rip a card out of my hand. Like, he's just gonna go into Halky Firebrack plays at this point. How po oh. Yep. Oh, DC Minstrel. Send. Turn one little forward. Put this on the bottom. One, two, three, four. Then he's gonna put one back in the bottom. And he's just gonna summon into Halky Firebrack. Yeah, I'll just pause until he gets to his end board. I have no interruptions. Alright, so this is the board we ended on. We're just gonna pause and hope for the best. Oh, 
Well, next game. I don't even know what you would do. I guess we add the dimensional barrier, take out that. Dimension shifter, take out that. I guess we're going to take out the two dangers for... Mm. I guess we'll take out... Yeah, we'll take out the dangers for a Solemn Strike. And... Where's the other danger? Raigeki. Alright, we're going first again, because I don't want to deal with that. It's not like I have a choice. Go first. Cool. Well, I'll just stop the video now, because you know he's going to just do things. Be back. Yeah, no, he just did the exact same board state and then just proceeded to destroy everything. That entire thing with some roar down and all that is not fun. Next game. All right, next game. Hopefully nothing as bad as the last one. All right, this is actually playable. So then we just add... Really? Alright, next game. Alright, here we go. The actual, Maybe an actual game. Oh god, this hand's awful. Oh, you have a called by at least, so if he tries ashing, it doesn't... Okay. Dark Beckoning. And we add, you know, we're about to summon one anyways. Oh, I know, we want the field spell. We need that draw. Then we just summon him. Activate to special summon Raphael. Activate. All right, that's pretty good. Set, set, and turn. All right. I think we can get somewhere with this. Pot desires. That's not a good sign. There's gonna be some shenanigans going on. Matt. Oh. It's fine. Mm. That is less fine. I don't think he has a way to extend. He probably does, because it's, mag it's, it's Magical Muskets. Magical Musketeer Doc. Magic, magic bo Oh, what's this? Special do your opponent's monster is the same your time cannot be used until the end of this turn. What? Oh. Does Link not add a? Um. No, I don't really have. A Just summon. Optimum chat. Summon trash your opponent controls. Oh, so he's either gonna special summon. Oh, he's going to add two Magical Musket Traps. Cool. Oh. I don't like any of this. Jesus. Is he gonna, just going to Link Summon now? I think that would be the play. Yeah, if he summons a Boral Sword, I just die. He goes up to what five thousand. Mine goes down to two thousand. That's three thousand damage. Oh. Okay. Uh, so dumb. 
Alright, what's the plan? Upstart? Okay. I guess he's not gonna try Boral sorting me, but this is still pretty annoying. Mm hmm. So I try to activate this card's column and magical musket. Okay. Uh, wait. I don't know what he added. Alright. Oh, that's not... There he is. Oh, he just didn't use it yet. Okay. I would say probably the best bet is game two. We're going to side deck the... It's the fact that they all have the same effect of use, use them during either player's turn. That is the dumb part. Yeah, it doesn't matter which one you hit either. Because they all have the effect. Unless there's a counter trap. Mm, there's a lot of things I don't like about it. I might not immediately die. It's a good chance, unless he just summons a Utopia Double, in which case I will 100% die. That is the worrisome part. Utopia Double is really the only thing that could kill me. Right? Because it goes up to 10,000? Yeah. This. Then he has. That plot didn't really hurt him, did it? That is. This is a lot of dumb, but it's manageable. We got, a, we got a kaiju, we got swords, we can get this boy back if I need to, maybe another Fallen Paradise, it's fine. We can manage. Wait. Oh no. Did he DC? Oh, well, this has just been me sitting here watching people do things for a certain amount of time. Alright, next game. Alright, so we're going into regular games because people aren't wanting to match, so best of one. So side deck is not a factor in this. That's good. That's fine because we didn't really add any changes, and we're probably about to lose. He's going first. Oh, wait, what? That's not the right card. Oh, is there some sort of stupid glitch on Dual Nexus? Ugh. I know that's not in there. That could have gone to something. Gross. Like, eh. That's just gross. It's not a red card, though. Man, I don't- I'm gonna pause until he starts doing something, so we'll be right back. I- Honestly, I'm dumbfounded that this is the end result for this. Alright, we're gonna keep going until we get an actual game, god dang it. Alright, here we go. Maybe an actual game for once. That's fine. He's going first. Again, this is not what's supposed to be in here. That is not at all what's supposed to be in here, and it's annoying that it is in here. Performer pal. Alright. That, that's it. Hmm. Alright. So, set. Activate. No responses. Dark Beckoning Beast. Summon. Activate. Add Ravael. The Phantasm. Summon. Activate. To summon Haman. Activate you to discard you to summon you. Now we use Chaos Owning Beast Effect. Alright. Pretty good. And now we activate this 
to summon Ravael. And that is all I can do. And now we're just going to activate Awakening Sacred Beast. And that is probably it. Perform a Falcorn. Oh. Oh. If that's all he can do, I'm just going to attack over it. Oh, <laughs> uh, he's doing things. He normal set. He normal set. All right. Let us add Uriah. Activate to discard and then special summon. Then we are going to special summon with these. Activate battle. Well, that's a marshmallow. One. That can't be a marshmallow. One. What effect did he have? That's a quick effect. Ew. That's annoying. Main phase two. Um. Now he has an ash. What? Um, okay. Okay, I'm summoning. Oh yeah, I can use him. We're just gonna dump that. And end phase. No more monster effects. <laughs> I should be fine-ish. Man, that is weird though. Why ain't a minute? It's 60 cards! What? You can't attack anything but him! Why? He has to be trolling. He has to be. Watch this big brain play right here. We tribute him. And then we use him. Oh, get him back to hand. Then we summon, activate. Oh. Bada bing, bada boom. That should be game. Alright, finally, an actual duel. Yeah, I don't know why people are rage quitting or losing DCs. That first match was dumb. We're gonna continue for a little bit longer, though, for one on one match duels. Let's go. Alright, actual game again. Hoya. Hoya. Okay, weird hand. Ah, uh, okay, this works. This is a good hand. So summon, activate, to summon Ravael. Then we activate you. Fall in paradise, draw. Hey, Diarchist Diablos. We're just gonna set that, and end turn. Not a bad, not a bad hand, could be better. God dang it. <laughs> Why? Why must you be this way? Wait, what? He can't <laughs> Oh yeah, because my shield spells up. Aha! Gotcha! He 
He's gonna add magical mysterious spells and traps. Or monsters. Tire card. To get the activation, destroy it. Okay. Yep. That is a fine. He can't destroy my token, which is fine. This is like just a Mark II revenge right here. What is this? Devil Steel. Deck Arc Reef. So we're going to activate this to target him. Alright. Alright. So, the actual game plan is we activate this. Either it resolves or it doesn't. That's fine. Doesn't matter. That wasn't the plan. Lair Darkness. Nope. Tribute. Only getting a little extra attack. Summon Doc is Diablos. Yeah. It's your boy, Diablos. Activate. Why can't I target you? Wait, no. That's broken. That's... Oh, come on. Oh, my God. Whatever. It literally didn't work. There, there's nothing that says I can't tribute him. That's fine. Yeah, there's physically nothing that says I can't do that. So why didn't it work? Whatever. I'll just put... I'll just put my fusion on the bottom, because I don't need it. You break two tokens. What? Oh my god. This literally shouldn't be how this is going, because Nexus doesn't run this properly for some reason. What? Okay. Yep. Hmm. How do I get out of this? I real I sh I should have won last round. That is 100% what should have happened. It's not complaining. It is that layer of darkness did not work properly. I would have tributed him, and I would have gone. Ah. Nah, I'm not- I- I- I technically won. Even though it says I didn't, because that should have tributed him and I would have killed with exactly 8,000. Next game. Alright, this will also be the last game, as this has been a lot of people just quitting and then dueling Nexus just not working properly. So, once he actually raises up, we shall begin. Probably just picking a deck. Oh, he left. Alright, we'll be back when someone actually joins. Alright, here we go.
Rock. 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 Paper. Okay. Well. Playable hand. Really, really good hand. How's it get ruined? Oh. Well, now I feel bad for what I'm about to do to you. It's not hit by an ash. Good. Summon. And he has an imperm. Or an ash. It. Effect failure. Well. I actually just can't do anything to that. Oh, I got greedy there. It's fine. We just next round, next turn. Skididdle skidoo. Get out revel you. Unless he's just playing a hand trap the deck. That's a terrifying thought on every level. Oh. And it's just it's just blue eyes. It's just blue eyes chaos. Or just regular blue eyes. Okay. Yep. He's gonna add back Sage of Blue Eyes, probably. Oh, the Lifestyle Legend. I mean, it is also a tuner, but why? I mean, either one works. I just don't understand why. That, yep, you're fighting a Seth Stun two or more times. Uh, two monsters, more than two monsters at the same time, okay. Let's show you. Okay, he's in graveyard, you can get the activation. During either player's turn, you can trigger the Synchro Summon, especially Summon Light Dragon. That is... Fine? Doesn't really stop anything I'm doing? Alright, and then he gets a Summon. Tinkerbell goes, and then it activates. Special Summon any blue eyes. Probably gonna be on alternate. Regular blue eyes, okay. This works. So we just activate to dump. Nope. To special summoning, dark summoning beast. Activate to summon Ravio. Activate. This dump those. I dumped the wrong ones. It's fine. Doesn't really matter. All right. First, let's use Layer Darkness. Nope. You know, I kind of don't want to risk that. In case it decides not to work right. Um. Nice. Nice. All right. So. Yeah. End phase, because I can't do anything else. I don't think he can get over my beat stick. Because that's really all Raphael is right now. He is a beef boy. <sighs> and if he can somehow get higher attack than him, power to him. I have blue eyes from Gagar to hand. Uh, that's fine. I will say that getting hit by the effect Veiler did hurt because I got cocky. I, if I had not gone for the Veiler, 
We would have been in such a better position. What response do you possibly have? Okay, I was about to say. Um, nope. We're just gonna, we're getting that token. What's he, is he just gonna go for another one of these? I don't, I think the effects are hard once per, they are not. Oh no. Oh my god. I swear to god. If I see a roar on crap, I'm gonna lose it. I'm going to go actually insane if I see a roar on. Okay. Thank God. Is he just gonna summon another one of these? I wouldn't doubt you just summons another one of that. So if he somehow can't get rid of Ravio. That is a problem. We're just gonna summon that now, just in case. Cause that's a big problem! Now he's just gonna go into Nightmare Cerberus and just blow him up! It is a little stressful, I will say that. Pro literally the only opponent that has actually given us a game where it's it can go both ways now. And I'm your service. Why? It would be so much easier just to blow him up. Increase this with eyes of blue. Is Tarius this card? So I'm going to check on which control data. Do add to two to the left to hand. Okay. Well, I still have a monster on field. So. Is that. Wow. You actually accomplished nothing. Alright. Okay. Alright. Okay. So. We are going to summon. Search for the trap. Activate you to summon Ravael back. Activate Hayu to dump you to summon you to the field. Yeah! He knew as soon as this happened, I was just going to turn off all of his effects. So I will see you on the deck screen. Alright, so thoughts on the deck. Performs okay when people actually play the game. Salt aside. That shouldn't be in here. I don't know why it was. Save. There's Diablo still. Yeah, everything's still in here. So, aside from Gamma, you can't do anything about. There's nothing you can do until uh, Infinite Impermanence comes out. That is all you can hope for. That is the only thing. And that's Infinite Impermanence. No Man Cross Out. That is the only thing you can do to stop it. Other than that, everyone else played okay. Magical Muskets. He DC'd both times. Don't know how that would have gone. Probably would have lost from all the hand traps, not gonna lie. The, other than that, the, um, it performs decently okay still. The Infernal Tragedy actually did help in one way. Except for the fact that Lair of Darkness is bugged on Dueling Nexus for some reason, which is dumb. But yeah, uh, if you enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If you have decks you want to see me play as other videos for the channel, please leave those down in the comments below. And please stay tuned for future content. Thank you, and bye.
Hey, hello, I am Shining7, and today for Sealed Only, we have the Legendary Collection 2, the Dual Academy Years Game Board Edition? Huh. Don't know what that means, but it does have a... Some more... It's a little hard to get that in there. It's a little more phantasms, as you can see. Now, I'm going to open this up, because I have no idea what is in here, and I've been waiting to open it for so long since I ordered it. This may just take... Ah, why the cardboard gonna be so hard to get off? Plastic. There we go. All right, just gotta. All right, just slide that up. All right. Oh, cool! It has a pack right here. A little promo pack. So let's see what is in here. It has the same rarities. As the original Phantasms also. As in, it's ultra rares, so no rarity bumps there. Yuria, Haman, Dark Lord, um, Asmodeus. Can have a special sound from deck or graveyard. Once per turn, you can send one fairy from deck to graveyard. Well, this controls joy. No. Interesting. Dark Lord, Zaberia. One special sound from the graveyard. You can target one fairy in graveyard, special summon it. Dark Lord, a day. Special Summon from Graveyard has Piercing, Cyber, Cyber Larvae, Lion Alligator, Control Another Reptile, to gets Piercing, Spawn Alligator, Day Face is Tribute Summoned. Using Reptile, Target One Monster is used for Tribute Summon, Special Summon it. Then we got Great Tornado, Parallel World Fusion, Dragonic Tactics, Tribute to Dragon, Special Summon Level 8 from your deck, and Court of Justice, Special Summon One Fairy Monster from your hand. You must control one a uh, face up level one fairy to activate and resolve this. Okay, pretty interesting. Now, I don't know if these packs are guaranteed, but I am looking for. I mean, they're probably guaranteed. All right, let's see. So we got heroes, hero mask, crystal beast, woodsman. Whoa, secret rare twin Karibo. future fusion, poison rose. Yeah, no, that Wing Creepo level 9, though, looking fresh. Mmm. Set you aside, because you are a shiny boy. Next pack. Alright, we got Heroes Bond, Clayman, Inferno, Chimera Tech, Over Dragon, and Secret Rare. He is also looking fresh. Venomomena, Feather Shot. Flare Neos, Rottweiler, and D-Spirit. Again, looking fresh. Man, yeah, Secret Rares looked weird back then. Alright. I want to hear a Necroid Shaman. Destiny Hero Departed. I want to hear Rampart. Dark End Dragon, level 8. Once per turn, you target one monster controls, it loses attack and defense, and you can send it to the graveyard. Pretty pretty good to be honest I just don't have a way to you know use that but still Mizuki and Miracle Kids so far we're not seeing the U Bells I wanted unless it's not guaranteed oh no that would be real bad all right Righteous Justice Aqua Dolphin Six Samurai Rare Value Destiny Draw and a Secret Rare Variant Miracle Fusion Ultra Evil Hero, Infernal Prodigy, Six Samurai, Instant Neo Space. Destiny Draw looks nice, though. Maybe we can somehow use Destiny Heroes in here, but I, I'm i a little worried. I was thinking we'd get a Bell, at least. Alright, Malicious, Clock Tower Prison, Evil Hero, Malicious, Fiend, Dandelion Secret Rare, that's a little sad. Crystal Tree, Gladiator's Return, Ice Master, Venom Swamp, and Wing Karibo. Alright, so, takeaway from this, I gotta have to find a better way to find you, Bell. So, a little bit of a bust. This is some decently good cards, though, decently nice cards. Um, I don't see anything I could add unfortunately like let's see it's hero stuff over here hero woods in future fusion future fusion maybe but this isn't the errata is the problem this also isn't first edition 
This is a reprint box. Hmm. Yeah, I don't see this being able to be used, which is unfortunate. However, it is still some nice stuff. What's this? Hmm. Infernal Progeny. If you control no monsters, you can special summon this card from your hand in attack position. Which would... This could be useful. But I don't know. We'll have to test that out. We definitely can't use any of our secret rares. Because I don't have a second Malicious Bane. Phenomena can't be used. <laughs> a lot of this just can't be used, unfortunately. However, the Malicious... Is a nice thing. Yeah, the malicious bane, not malicious, just malicious, is a nice grab at least, even if we can't really use him. So, see you in the deck editor when we decide whether or not we want to add infernal, and let's go.